Hello, Laura. Hello, Paul. My, my, my. What a lovely day for it. Can I go in there? Yes, please. All right. All right. <laughs> Oh, shut me in. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. A lock-in. Eat the grape. You cannot damage the caravan. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. <gasps> the grape! <gasps> I'm locked in here, aren't I? Oh, no! Why did you shut that door? Oh, you locked me in. Yes. That's really nasty, man. Sorry. Is the grape definitely in the caravan? Where's the grape? Michael, everybody is locked inside of the caravan. Let's see some people try and do it, eh? These two famously hate each other. It's Guy and Laura. <laughs> <laughs> clues. There's clues. The grape must be in here. Oh, there's a code. Padlocks are bound. Yeah. Money! Am I going to have to use my fucking wits for this? I hate that! Nine dollars ninety. What the? Do I have to guess the code on this padlock? Oh, there's the grape. Oh! It's outside on big balloons, baby! <laughs> clues be aware? Can the keys be? I'm Guy Montgomery. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I got the keys, I got the keys, I got the keys. What's your birthday? 7th of August, 1992. What's Jeremy's birthday? 7th of June, 1977. <laughs> Sorry to lose book. Wow! A mini task! I like it when things are little. Oh my god, this is like doing an escape room. You're doing great. Ask Paul for a clue. Can I have a clue, Paul? Colder. Colder. Oh. The fridge. <gasps> oh my god! Wow! It's incredible. The thermos of hot water! Wow! Melt, baby, melt. Boy, I'm street smart. Oh my god, a burner phone. Hello, you've reached Paul's Key Emporium. I'm actually out of town right now on a work call, but that's not going to stop our crazy key sale. House keys, car keys, caravan padlock keys, <gasps> you name it. All just $10. I can buy a key. I can buy a key. I can buy a key. Paul. Yes. Can I buy a key? I sell keys, yeah. I've only got nine ninety though. They cost ten dollars. Usually stuff always falls down between the couch. Ah! Woo <laughs> no! No! I got no! ten dollars. One key, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on. People's lives are at stake here. Oh. Ah! <laughs> I feel like the hamster that got the grape. Is that a saying? You absolute fuck. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You genuinely seem to love that, Laura. Honestly, I pay to do that. <laughs> you would be the perfect hostage. You can't leave. You're locked in here. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it's a big puzzle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was impressive. How quick was Laura? Guy, 32 minutes and one second. But Laura, she nearly halved that 16 minutes wow. and six seconds. Wow. <laughs> Good job. That was incredible. Mm. Whose efforts are we going to watch next, Paul? We love to pair these two together. They are, after all, real life best friends. Here's Ursula Carlson and Matt Heath. Now, where would someone put a grape? There's nothing in this pig. Taking the money. Not my fault. I leave money with a South African. Do you have any clues, Paul? About what? Where the grape is. It's just on the plate. On the plate? Yeah. What plate? Oh, more money. The grape is on the plate. 
the grate is on the plate. There's a lock thing on here. Okay. What's the code? I'm, I'm not supposed to tell you. Oh! It's been out there all along. Yes. I really haven't understood this, have I? Can I bribe you? Just for a code? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, what's great in numbers? Ten bucks. What's the code? 1977. I'm feeling humiliated here. Why did it take you so long to see the grate? Because I wasn't looking out the window. Right. <laughs> ah. Oh, I didn't learn from my first lesson of not looking out windows, did I? No. Yes! I'm in the cupboard, Paul. Keys! I'm in the fridge, Paul. I found an ice block with a screwdriver in it. I feel like I'm making progress here. Hello. What am I supposed to open with? Oh, yes. Ten bucks. This is $9.90. Oh, man, that's rough. <laughs> Where would 10 cents be? I already gave you the 10 bucks. Give me the bloody key. <laughs> you gave me $10 for a four-digit code. <laughs> you bastard. Come on, 10 cents. <laughs> yeah. You take credit? I take credit. That's yours. Thank you. I've looked down the back of this couch about 20 times and found no. God damn it! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. Oh god damn. <laughs> Have I put, finished? Finished what? Oh, I've got to eat the grain. <laughs> I'm stopping the clock. That was rough, man. That was rough. Uh, Thanks, Paul. You did it in the end. It must have been a reasonably frustrating experience. Uh, that was a nightmare, actually. That was one of the worst five hours of my life. <laughs> well, you're laughing. <laughs> I didn't spend five hours in there. I just bought my way out of it. I didn't know 10 cents were that colour. I thought they were silver. <laughs> Someone's doing well for themselves. <laughs> Matt was actually, he wasn't going too bad until he, he needed the 10 cents. Mm. To find the 10 cents, it took him 26 minutes. Mm. So Ursula, she was 29 minutes 59, which puts her into second place. Oh, wow. wow. And Matt was 47 minutes 54, <laughs> which is currently the longest anyone's taken to do any task this season. <laughs> yes. I feel like it would be... Rude not to notice that David's had his head in his hands the yeah. entire time this conversation's been happening. Yeah. So 16 minutes and 6 seconds is the time to beat. Here's David Correos. Mm. Why are you in here? What's in this one? Oh, what's that? What's that? Nothing. Why is this hot? What are you trying? Random numbers to smur, smear it. Ram test. Ram test. <laughs> like a computer. I assume the grape's outside, right? The grape's right there. I only just noticed that that grape was there. <laughs> really seems like you've looked everywhere in there. Yeah. Shit! Where would I find a code? Am I looking too small? <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to stay in here, aren't I? I'm supposed to stay in here. There is no grape. There's no reason for me to get out of the caravan. I'm supposed to be in here. The grape is somewhere <laughs> in the caravan. That's a fake grape. That's a fake grape that I'm not supposed to get. It shouldn't be this hard. It's somewhere in front of me. Just gotta think outside the box. I can't think outside the box. I literally have to go by the rules you're giving me. <laughs> Everyone in the studio is gonna be like, ha 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 ha. <laughs> you're so stupid. You're so stupid. You're back to pulling books through that little gap? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Paul, can I have a clue? Colder. Oh, I was supposed to use the hot water, wasn't I? <laughs> Paul, is that your key company? I sell keys. I got 10 bucks. You actually suck. <laughs> Where's the... Oh, 
$9.90? The $10, sorry. No! Where's the 10 cents? <laughs> where's the... No! <laughs> I am internet banking. Give me my phone. Give me my phone. If you give me a bank number, I will transfer you the money. Okay. Please? Here's this. You'll transfer me the 10 cents? I'll, te I'll transfer you the 10 cents. Give me your bank details and I'll give them to you. I was going to bring 20 bucks today to buy pie. <laughs> <laughs> this is so frustrating. What's your bank details? Come on, load Kiwi Bank. Come on. Okay, here we go. Have a check now. It's there. Who's <laughs> you doing business with you? <laughs> 16 minutes and 6 seconds was the time to beat. It took David 19 minutes to spot the grape. <laughs> David's overall time was one hour and 23 minutes. Oh, oh. oh bastard. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's an incredibly cruel irony that David wasn't allowed to damage the caravan, but it seems the caravan has permanently damaged. <laughs> yeah. What are the final scores? Sadly, one point for David. Two points for Matt, yes. three points for Guy, four points for Ursula, and of course, five points for Laura Daniel. Great job, Laura.